Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on Smart City System. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java ID. You can choose any ID of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of Smart class. This is a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package. Then click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated, the .java file for the code and the .form file for the UI. Let's look our UI first. This is my panel. I have named it as city panel. This is the JTEXT area and uh, its name is address. This is a JTEXT field and its name is description and this is a combo box and uh, its name is type. To add the data into the combo box, uh, go over here in the model section and then you can add your data and press ok this is the button this is also a button to add functionality to the button right click onto the button and go to create listener some code will be generated into the java file and uh, this is the table and uh, do not forget to add the table under the jscroll pane let's move to the code these are the imports uh, which will automatically add it and uh, this is my class these are the uh, these fields will automatically be generated once you design the panel and uh, this is the uh, object of jframe class and i have named it as ctf and into the constructor we will be utilizing the ctf variable to call these methods and uh, these methods will make sure that whenever you create the object of smart class uh, this form appears onto the screen. Now let's talk about the uh, button. So we are checking if the JTEXT area which is address we are extracting the data and equating it with null. So we are checking if these uh, data fields are null then pop up a message please fill all fields to add place. Else if the user has entered something then we are executing this query and storing it into this variable sql and we are building the connection and uh, using prepare statement we are running this query to uh, whenever we use a prepare statement we will be using this particular syntax to add the data so using this statement of type prepare statement we will be calling this method set string and under the first index we will be storing the type over here okay and in the second index description and in the third index the address uh, and the table name is city over here which i have made into the database now we'll be calling this method execute update and popping up the message place added successfully then uh, uh, making the uh, data fields null after that and catching the error popping up the appropriate message okay this was all about the add button now this is the table listener table listener you can add the table listener by going over here into the ui click on the table right click on the, onto the table create listener and go to mouse listener what it basically does that uh, uh, whatever data stored into this uh, table suppose over here the under the shape round is uh, present and under color is red so uh, whenever you click on to this row particular row round and red we can extract this particular data and uh, we can uh, uh, put it in the uh, text area or the text field so over here we are uh, first uh, using this default table model and uh, calling this met method get model and uh, uh, storing it into this variable dm okay and then we are uh, uh, initializing this selected row this is the variable and we are calling this get selected row so it will return the index and it will be stored into this variable then we will call this get value at method of uh, from this variable dm and pass the uh, our row and column okay so under the column one uh, we are storing the type okay so 
the type will be extracted and uh, sorry the under, under the first column we are storing the description so description will be extracted and uh, it will be uh, it will be put into this text area okay and similarly the address over here uh, from column 2 it will be extracted of, from a particular row and will be con converting into string and uh, then putting the data into this address field okay now let's uh, talk about the search button search place button uh, we are calling the table data method over here okay so this is the method we are simply just uh, running this query select all from city where type is the type dot get selected item whatever the user has selected on the basis of that it will search from the this table city and uh, result the data into the table okay we are uh, running this query from this method execute query and storing the result into the result set and then if we are checking if there is nothing into the table so if a user has selected something but there was no data then pop up a message no data available otherwise uh, uh, again store the result of the query in this variable and uh, we are calling set model and we are calling this method build table model and passing the result set but instead of this function uh, this function i have created on my own but instead of this you can use dbutils dot uh, result set to table model method and pass your result set and it will work in the same way then catch exception if there is any and pop up the message accordingly okay okay this was it let's run the program okay we cannot see anything uh, so uh, we need to select the type so let's select ATM and search place okay some data was present into the database so it is it has extracted that data and the type is of ATM okay so on clicking this it uh, extracts the description over here into this text field and uh, in the, the in this column the address is present so it will extract the address and uh, put this address into this text area okay you can also add uh, something so let's say I change the uh, input and uh, I uh, I need to add a school okay let's say okay now we need to add this so place added successfully okay now if we go under the schools and search place we can see the school is present so any uh, new tourist member can uh, use this particular uh, application to uh, search the areas and uh, he can or she can move anywhere simply by uh, searching the place and extracting the address from there okay this is working i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas